Okay. Yeah. So, so we like in, in camp last week, there's some of the players with four years centers in an added edge in training. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think the um, the the rea reality now um, with the um, the Scots coming to town on on uh, on Saturday with uh, with their you know first class performance against the English, uh, it uh, as, as you know it sparked everyone up. You know, we we were we were um, expecting and we got a, a really tough encounter against Wales and we knew that was going to be a, a really uh, tough fixture and I think the uh, the, the sort of the down week was a, a good week for us to to rest a few bodies, get a bit of training in. But, but certainly the intensity has uh, has risen this week with what's coming up on the weekend. As far as there has been two weeks left, you know, two games, and it's it's in Ireland's hands essentially. Do you have to kind of calm expectations among the players? If you know, this is naturally probably going to be a bit of excitement about what could potentially happen over the next few weeks. I guess it, it's a little bit um, of a. Um, an old adage, but we're just we're, we're trying to get everything right and make sure that we don't look beyond uh, Saturday. And I think we've been in this situation before. Uh, uh, we can't look beyond the weekend, beyond the Scottish uh, team coming to uh, to Dublin, and, and uh, that's you know that's been our, our, our one and only focus uh, since we since we finished the uh, the Welsh game. So can you just give us an update on the injuries, Ty? Because uh, obviously Ty today, I mean, he's passed himself a bit. So, uh... <laughs> No, everyone was good today. Everyone came through. Um, yeah, like you say, you saw Ty earlier, and uh, he's uh, you know we're, we're having to you know keep players on a, on a tight leash because they're you know they're, they're desperate to those who didn't uh, get the opportunity to, to play against Wales will be desperate to come back in, and I think the guys that did play um, you know have the ownership of that shirt and. And did really well, so I think it's it's a great place to be um, with um, with losing those players. But the guys who came in didn't uh, didn't drop the standard, and, and um, the quality of the depth of the squad at the moment is something that we've we've uh, been really pleased with over this uh, the last few weeks. And Ian Henderson as well. Did he train fully? Too? Yeah, Ian trained fully as well. And, uh, and Johnny trained as well. Yeah. Um, just just wondered how. Important those players are. How glad you are to have them back in selection for Tiger. Yeah, I, I think any side would uh, would be happy to, to have them um, come back into selection. Um, you know, they're, they're quality players. That they proved that um, over the last couple of seasons. But but certainly in the summer uh, with the Lions, um, some you know first class performances and and. Um, I think, like I said, what it's done is it just creates massive competition within the group. Uh, it's um, certain some positions we haven't been as fortunate with injuries, but but certain positions we have, and and we feel at the moment we're building you know, real quality depth. Uh, those guys who don't don't even make the 23 um, on 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 the weekend will will feel like they can come in and and not drop the standard when they do come in. So I think that's a great place to be at the moment. Um, but certainly there's a. There's a real buzz and expectation for those guys who might come back into the selection equation. Do you feel the depth is as strong as it has been since your involvement when you see the likes of Andrew Porter, uh, James Ryan, those guys uh, pushing for places? I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly something that uh, post-World Cup we were, we were, we were uh, wary of and, and, uh, and um, felt like when we, when we lost a number of key players, we um, we struggled a little bit uh, to to replace those, and I think that's 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 always going to be uh, the 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 bedrock of any team is the depth um, that that creates that competition. And I think it, it's it's in, in a particularly good place at the moment. It, it, we'll always have injuries inevitably. Players, unfortunately, like like Jamie has you know stepped away from the game now, and we lose. You know, uh, one of the the greatest number eights that the country has produced. But on the back of that, other players then get the opportunity to come in and, and uh, stake a claim. So I think that's that's um, you know, when one door closes, another one opens for someone else. And I think that's uh, we've shown that over the last sort of two years that we're starting to to give opportunities and those players that that, that grab that chance uh, have stayed with us, and and that starts to create real good competition. And Ian and Tyke available this weekend. Does it create a bit of a selection headache? Yeah, certainly. It's um, it's what you want. You know, you want uh, as many players 
uh, putting their hands up for, for, for selection and it's uh, like I say it creates massive competition within the group and um, you know you, you have to uh, applaud uh, Andrew Porter's performance um, certainly getting um, getting a good bulk of minutes uh, in the Italian game and then uh, and then starting the Welsh game you know he is uh, he's certainly come in and, and done a really really good job and the same in the second row with James uh, James Ryan. You know, there's a couple of youngsters now that have come in and and really put their hand up. And like I say, it's it's uh, it's what you want. I was often surprised you about just how, how how well they managed to, I suppose, bounce back from that opening round loss to Wales. Or I suppose has the have the warning signs been there? I uh, yeah, I don't I, I think I think every, every team will have have a blip, and I think that was theirs. Uh, they ran New Zealand really close uh, in the autumn and could have won the game. They um, they put uh, a good Australian side away. I guess uh, they uh, they went a man down, but they put them away well. You know well. Um, yeah, they they went away from home in the summer and beat beat Australia in in, in uh, Australia, and then the performance against England didn't didn't surprise us, us at all. So um, yeah. Listen, I don't think we're taking and reading too much into that Welsh performance. Uh, they uh, they've got a few different personnel in as well, and I think um, I think they're in a really good place as a, as a squad. Having, having sorry, having coached against and indeed played against many Scottish teams before, like is this is this the best Scottish side that there ever has been? Or you know, especially maybe since the nineties when they won that five nations. I I think I just yeah I think they they like us have, have started to create uh, some depth in their in their group, um, and it's uh, it's shown in their in their performances. Uh, not not just since Greg has come come in on, on board, but uh, before that there was building with Vern Cotter at the helm, and I think they're starting to um, you know to get a. A bit of a return from from that um, bit of investment they've done over the last few seasons, and they're starting. To, we're starting to see a, a very good Scottish team now um, perform, um, you know, week in week out. Simon, um, I think Joe used the word naive after Ireland's defeat to Scotland last year, probably in terms of possession of those ties. Is that a big thing for you this year, not to be as smart by Scotland? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, there, there would be the 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 line out try which uh, we conceded. Um, which was uh, very disappointing, and one that you would you would hope uh, we wouldn't um, we wouldn't get uh, done by, but we did. And there was other things in the game as well which we we didn't quite get uh, get right and, and to the standard that we would have um, we would have hoped. So yeah, listen, that that performance will have to sit with us and and, and still does you know for a long time. But um, I think. As a group, we're in a in a good place at the moment, and and there's plenty of experience to, to know and know how to 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 not allow those things to happen again. And Scotland if we, were able to welcome a few more injured players back into their squad this week. Are you are you expecting to see a pretty similar team to the one that beat England, or are you kind of thinking there there could be a couple of changes with guys coming back in? I guess yeah, like like us, they've they've got players coming back in, and and. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they make one or two changes, but I wouldn't be surprised if they if they keep the same team. That you know they've got quality coming back in, but um, it um, yeah it'll be dependent on what they feel is uh, is required to, to to come up to Dublin and, and and beat us. But I can't speak for for their coaches and what they decide. James Ryan's well has been exceptional. Um, have you been surprised by how well he's gone, or did he expect that? It's just probably that he hasn't had as much uh, senior rugby as as, uh, as some people. Um, Andrew Porter's similar as, as well in that, but it, just the fact that that he's been able to, um, I, I guess, trans, transfer the the performances he had in the twenties uh, into into the senior stage with with Leinster and, and with us, and, and I think that's uh, the mark of. Of a you know a, a really good young player, um, you know he's he's uh, he's tough, you know, and he's he's uh, he's had a few injuries, but he's bounced back from those. Um, but he's playing in a really combative position as well, and and you know, he's raised the standard in, in certain areas, at, 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 you know, for a young man, um, and that is that's pushing the likes of Dev and 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 Hendy and Quinn and Alton, you know, and other players who aren't in in the group. That, that's pushing them to to to, to keep driving those standards so 
it's great that he's come in and, and performed so well. Um, there's plenty of growth in, in him as well, and I think he's in a good place. And hopefully, we don't put too much pressure on him. Uh, but but um, there's also an expectation now that he's produced those types of performances that um, you guys in particular will, will expect to see it every week. Okay, please up there.